In this video in the series, I'm going to get you started with the hardware of the AT&T IoT Starter Kit. So what is this kit for? It's for prototyping and developing Internet of Things applications that would be connected uh, to cellular data, in this case uh, LTE cellular data. So what do you get? You get two antennas, USB cable, you're going to need two, power supply, there's two boards. First we have the Avnet Cellular Shield. This is an LTE shield. It's got Arduino compatible pinout, but that doesn't mean necessarily they have a Arduino library yet. This is March 2017. The microcontroller is a Cortex M4 board from NXP. It's called an NXP 64F. Um, so this is an ARM board, so um, you're not going to be programming with something like Arduino. You're going to use the Embed um, ARM IDE. It's uh, online. The WNC board has a uh, SIM card, two antenna ports. This port is used exclusively for power, and this is what you'll use this power supply for. It goes ahead and it slides down on the Freedom Board, like so. And then, so you're going to power this board, and then you're going to use this port for programming the microcontroller. And this is the reset button you're going to be using a lot every time you put a new, uh, every time you put a new load on here, you're going to need to reset it. The very first place you want to go is to starterkit.att.com. This page will launch you into um, lots of tutorials and information. So we're going to go to developers, tutorials. We're going to find the AT&T IoT starter kit and getting started guide. So this guide um, is very well done. In fact, there are several really great guides. So um, plan on doing some reading. I'm not going to um, recreate the wheel completely, but I'm but I'm going to give you a quick start here. I'm going to assume you might go to my write-up, and uh, that way you can read the full documentation and click the links. But let's go ahead and go through this stuff here. So there are four really good guides that I know of. Um, so you might, uh, if you get stuck, you might switch from one to another. Um, this one here shows you how to do it, uh, get started using PubNub. And it, you use a different example library in this one. Um, and of course, there are lots of examples and tutorials on Hackster. So you're going to want to set up some accounts. Um, Avnet is the company that made the board and the kit. So if you go there and register, register your device. Um, you can get documentation. <clears throat> You also want to log into starterkit.att.com. That's where you can uh, set up your SIM card and get it online. Plan on spending some time upgrading the firmware on the cellular shield and the microcontroller. Um, you're going to need to get a terminal client like CoolTerm or PuTTY. Um, stand by one second. All right, if you'll notice I added a line here, you're going to need to install the NXP uh, drivers for the microcontroller. Um, you're going to need to go to Embed and sign up for an account. This is the cloud IDE where you're going to write all your code. Um, and then it's pretty simple. You click compile, download the, the code, and drop it onto your uh, microcontroller. Also, during the course of these tutorials, you're probably going to want to have a AT&T M2X and Flow account, and PubNub is an, another account that's good to have. 